Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going to hit three excellent science stories. Climatologists are scrambling, solar forcing of earthquakes, and geomagnetic impact on human health. But we're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. Things were moderately active, more so than what one might guess given that there aren't any eruptions heading our way. Solar flaring has been on the rise due to a surge in the sunspot situation, several plasma filaments have begun to look unstable, and enter eruptive watch today. So the overall alert level is heading upwards, and while we are monitoring all the plasma filaments, we are also not exactly sure which sunspot group to monitor most closely. New one is growing on the south to the right, big spots coming over the limb, expansive remnants on the north. It's this one in my eyes, good size, seriously complex, I do expect solar flares today. First up in the articles is this. Folks, if you follow the papers, you may have noticed they're starting to desperately try to blame climate change on random stuff as more detailed looks at carbon dioxide show it can't possibly be the cause of temperature changes. When that happens, they cancel the climate discussions, right? Nope. You get things like this, where they attempt to aggregate all possible forcings under an umbrella of human cause. Good luck with that. Up next, proton impact to seismicity. I have to admit, I didn't think the proton side of this equation would prove as worthy as the magnetic impacts, but here we are. After about a dozen papers tying solar proton events to earthquakes, here they go, large scale, saying 28% of the seismic intensity of our planet can be explained by solar proton variability. That's a lot. And last but not least, folks, they studied viral loads and immune response in people at the Vostok Station in Antarctica and found that during periods of amplified solar storms and geomagnetic activity, their viral counts went off the charts, through the roof. The thought process so far is that it's an impact to their immune systems, but even that doesn't exactly explain the extreme proliferation. But either way it mechanistically unfolds, it is directly tied to the sun's pounding of Earth's magnetic field, which is growing stronger by the day, which is of course because the magnetic field of Earth is weakening in the ongoing pole shift. The sponsor for our documentary coming out later this year on the pole shift and Earth disaster cycle is Gold Co goldobservers.com. The film will be the best way to explain this event to anyone, and Gold Co. is a company of observers among you, one of you, and they made goldobservers.com to help the observers here easily and quickly get caught up with the rare metals prepping. Whether you prefer gold or silver like me, goldobservers.com is the place to start. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.